guys and welcome back today we are going to unbox the aia beauty bundle today we're unboxing the october november box it retails for 34 dollars a month you get free shipping five to six full size items and it usually features one brand per box now i do know they're making a few changes which i think you guys would be really excited for starting the december box they're going to be featuring more of other beauty categories such as hair and skincare which is awesome but my understanding is that consumer feedback is a um, nice balance in between all not just all makeup all the time i really really loved their hair care box still have the products absolutely amazing i had to end up purchasing an additional box so that i wouldn't run out oh i never opened it let's let's open it together i never actually opened it here we go when you open it up that's what it looks like the brand being featured is give them lala beauty i'm gonna say this is the give them lala beauty box 2.0 because this brand has been featured earlier this year within the AIA Beauty Bundle. The products were nice. I still have the compacts. I still have some of the lippies. I feel like at first I really, really loved them. And then eventually once I wore them for quite some time, the lippies were somewhat a little drying. So we're gonna go ahead and play around with these items here. Oh, there's an extra product here that's a little different, which is really exciting. But if you're not aware of who Lala is, I had no idea the first time I unboxed, like the first box so my badness you guys had to tell me vanderpump rules <laughs> the lala from there and i was like oh mm, i didn't know that so i learned that is her brand that is what she looks like super super freaking pretty and then when you flip it over you're gonna have the products that are gonna be featured in your box okay we have prices there's a palette uh, looks like three lippies, one lip oil situation. Okay. So the first item is this one over here. We have a ton of masks at home at this point. We're going on, what, nine months of just social distancing and masking it up and stuff. This one I like, you know why? Because it has fabric on one side, but the, and then it has like additional fabric on the other. So it's double layered. Cool. I like that it's black and simple, but it has the American Influencer uh, beauty bundle kind of logo here and then it covers the face completely which I like I decided to try this on now I am going to be trying some of the lippies that are in the box and I don't want to like you know because this is white on the inside but that's cool so that's cool 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 awesome all right this is always good to have and guys I mean if you have kids at home you already know they lose everything we have purchased maybe eight masks for Ty and I can only find one because she eats them. So this is great because I have backups just in case I needed to share with her that I have extras. Then we got four boxes of lippies. Oh, we have three different lip formulas and then a lip oil. Cool. I'm gonna show you the Lala Lip Quencher first. This here is the lip oil. I actually have a lip oil on my lips right now. This is gonna come in handy because guys, I'm telling you, I don't know what's going on. My lips have been so dry no matter how often I try to hydrate them. So that's the lip oil, awesome. I'm trying to get better at not just opening and swatching a product if I'm not gonna use it immediately just because you know they do start to like their lifespan starts to like uh, die down the moment that you open it up kind of situation this here is their what formula is this their cushion cream lipstick in the shade send nudes oh by the way if you didn't know this the brand is cruelty free which is awesome I think I'm gonna use this one today oh that's pretty so this here is Send Nudes. And this is a cream lipstick. I think that's why I want to try this one because it says Cushion Cream Lipstick. And I'm like, what does that mean? This one here is a Hydro Gloss, which again, I will not be trying just because I have so many like lippies that have color to them and they're glossy at the same time. But that's cute. I like the color. It's in the shade Trippin' which to me is basically similar to the nude that I'm going to try, just slightly darker. And then their Hydro Matte is in I Love You. Is this the red one? Yes. And here you have the red one. Hydro Matte, which means it's, it's hydrating, but it's still gonna be like a matte matte shade, which is great if you don't want it to move around on your face. You wanna be able to eat and not have to worry about, you know, you wanna kiss somebody, you don't have to worry about the lippy moving around. And then, we have an eyeshadow palette. 
So the print is cute. I don't know if you can see over here, it has like this faux marble effect to the box. The back of it says it is called the Pretty Palette and apparently this is Lala, I'm assuming. I'm assuming. Packaging is simple, it's white. What does it look like on the inside? Oh, it's Give Them Lala Beauty. I wish the Lala like drawing was here. That would have been really cute to see going forward because now the box goes in the trash. Like I feel like this could have been in the back and then the drawing could have been in the front and that would have been super cute. These pans are huge. This is what the palette looks like on the inside. Look at these pans. These are double the size of regular pans. That is really awesome. So you're getting nine different shades. You have some shimmer shades and then you have matte shades. This is gonna be great for like that neutral girl that likes to create a smoky eye, very neutral type of look. Doesn't like to step outside of the box too, too, too much. Um, and or if you don't have a really neutral palette like this, it's amazing for the fall time, even if you like color. So this is really nice. I like how simple the packaging is. The mirror is nice to have. Sometimes I get a little like frustrated when there's no mirror inside of palettes. Not that I use them all the time, but they're convenient to have them there. All right, so let's go through prices. The Send Nudes Cushion Cream Lipstick retails for $16. The I Love You Hydro Matte Lipstick retails for $16 as well. The Trippin Hydro Gloss retails for $16. And then the Wet Lip Quencher retails for 18 bucks. This mask, I thought it was just an extra, apparently not. This retails for $12. And then the eyeshadow palette retails for $42. Now I'm not like super duper picky when it comes to like lippies. Um, I'm, I'm really not, like it's not a make or break me situation, but eyeshadow palettes are, so let's move on in. I'm gonna go ahead and create a eye, quick eye look with the palette as well as the cushion lipstick. And let's see how this works. As you guys can see, I already have mascara on. These are my natural lashes. I do not feel like applying falsies today, so we're gonna skip that, which means I'm going to create a really simple but cute look, I'm hoping, because I have never tried these formulas. I'm gonna go ahead and grab ba -ba 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 -ba, a big fluffy brush, and we're gonna dip into this shade over here called Pretty Thing, and we're gonna apply that pretty much everywhere. So on the lid, on the crease, we're gonna blend that out. I'm gonna grab another brush and I think I I think right I think I wanna dive into walk of shame and I'm going to tap that directly on to the crease area and then I'm gonna blend back and forth. But I'm not gonna bring it all the way in to the inner portion of the eyes. I wanna keep that nice and clean and bright. The look is super pretty already as it is. Like I can keep it like this and it still looks like I put work into it when I really didn't. These formulas, so far the ones that I tried are these two here and they're actually very good. As you guys can see, there is no fallout. They blended really nicely, pretty pigmented because I didn't have a hard time trying to get pigment out of it. I didn't have to build it, so that is awesome. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dive into the shade Late Night with a very thin blending brush and at an angle, I'm going to apply that on the outer portion of the eyes. I wanna kind of add some depth and dimension to the eye. I'm gonna dip back in it till late night, and I'm gonna drag some of that on the bottom portion of the eyes. Now that my eyes are completely done, as you can see, they look pretty. I don't even feel like this look needs lashes, like, cause my very own lashes are doing the most right now. I'm gonna go ahead and use their, um, what is this? The Cushion Cream Lipstick in Send Nudes. I removed my lip oil. Okay, so this is like pretty pale for me. That's the thing with lippies that depending on what your skin complexion is, whether it runs a little more olive, more gold, more pink, uh, depending on how dark you are, how light, you know, a lippy is gonna look different on me than it's gonna look on you. So sometimes you have to bring in additional products to MacGyver it to make it work for like you, you know? So that's what we're gonna end up doing because there's no way, like this is just way too too light for me. Like it's, it's washing me out. I'll say the formula dried up so fast and it is not completely opaque. So if you just kind of want a wash of color, then this is gonna be good for you because it's not like completely, completely opaque, but it's comfortable. It doesn't feel drying and it's dry, but it doesn't feel drying. So I'm gonna go ahead and use a lip liner that I have here. It's a deeper shade. I'm gonna do one of these. Just to define my lips a little bit, that way it's not like where to lip go, you know? 
Actually, this lip combo that I like, you know, put together somehow looks really, really good because it didn't like overpower the cream lipstick either. Um, for those of you guys who are asking, I know you're going to ask, it's the Beauty For Real Deep Fine Lip Liner, but this one is in Deep Neutral. I usually feature um, the neutral because it's just like a regular neutral and I absolutely love it. It's like my favorite, but sometimes when I like want to add more like to my lips, I'll go ahead and use Deep Neutral, which I like a lot too. And look, it looks so pretty. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, make sure you click that subscribe button, the thumbs up button, and that notification bell. That way YouTube lets you know every single time I upload a new video. I literally just gave you final thoughts on that specific lippy. I'll play around with the other ones behind the scenes and or I'll probably, I don't know, share it. But I did want to give you guys full thoughts on this palette. I can't sit here and tell you about the shimmers because I did not use them. It would be unfair to judge the palette on product that I did not use. However, these two shades blended like a dream. The eye look came out really, really pretty. And the Late Night, which is the deepest chocolate, is very forgiving. It's one of those, like if you dip into it, you're not going to get an automatic poof like of just dark pigment, which... I am not against. I love being able to see a lot of pigmentation, but I also like to have a room for error, like room to um, MacGyver a situation before I mess it up completely. And so it's one of those like, I was able to get that right amount of depth without turning this whole thing into a smoky eye. I did have to build it a little bit, but it wasn't crazy. It wasn't difficult. It blended beautifully. The pigmentation is there and I managed to keep the look simple which i'm gonna go ahead and pat myself on the back for because it's very rare for me to do as per usual i am going to link the aia beauty bundle down below in the description box i do have a discount code so if you want to snag a box at a discounted price make sure you use that discount code it is not an affiliate link so no worries i make no money off of it whenever i do make commissions off of a coupon code i let you guys know but i like giving you guys a discount code if they're provided to me so that you guys can save some money this beauty bundle is still available for purchase so don't sleep on it and the next one will be launching in december i'm so excited to see what brands they're going to be featuring what product they're going to be featuring because now that i know they're going to be featuring more skincare and hair care i'm a little more excited because the possibilities are endless make sure you check out other videos where i'm unboxing a bomb ass products two of them are going to be linked here on the screen make sure you check those out and i'll see you over there bye guys